not your day, is it, love? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. How do? I've created my own horrible history song in the top draw game, Rowdy Remix. Yes, I'm going to be a superstar DJ. Hakarel DJ Extraordinary. It's got a lovely ring to it, man. Now, if you want to have a go and be a musical maestro like me, go over to CBBC Games, choose your track, and pick all sorts of effects and noises to make your own songs. And who knows? You may end up top of the pops in the ADBC chart. Oh, get you, show off! These are the cadets. So who's excited and ready to go? Yay! Let's get the new ones on and get out. These are the emergencies. Uh, they're believed to be a man overboard. The right's gonna get you. They can only do it if they work together. This is Hero Squad. There is a man who's fallen down a hole. It's really deep down there. Six cadets join forces with the real emergency services. He's done it! Brand new Hero Squad starts Monday at 6.15 on the CBBC channel. world of celebrity. Glamorous, exciting, fun. But what about the stars behind the stars? He makes sure that we all know what we're doing and that we feel comfortable and that we don't hurt ourselves. Without all the cultures that we have, well, not one of us would be the players that we are. We set them challenges at early ages. Well done. He's actually watching what we're doing and yeah. creating it to make it sound one. CBBC meets the VIP people who make it happen. That's the yeah. Starts next Monday at 4.30 on the CBBC channel. Hello, it's me, your handsome hero, Hacker. Now listen up, I've got some top news for you. If you press the red button on your remote control now, you'll be taken to a world known as CBBC Extra. I pipe down, will you? I'm trying to chat here. And all this week you can watch exclusive clips from top shows like Hero Squad, VIP People and Operation Ouch. So press red now! I have I told you? Livid. Hello, this is Newsround. I'm Ricky with your first update this Sunday. First to the USA. Americans have just one month until they decide whether to keep Barack Obama in power or elect a new president. Last night, Obama announced on Twitter that his campaign raised a record $180 million in September. That's a record to date. The money comes from supporters who donate cash to help Obama and his party, the Democrats. It can be spent on advertising in the countdown to the election. Obama's rival, Senator Mitt Romney, is fighting to take over the White House. Now, it's a big day for England's women cricketers who take on Australia in the World 2020 final at half nine later. England beats their rivals in the group stages, but Australia are the current champions opening the battling. The batting will be Captain Charlotte Edwards and Laura Marsh. She's hoping the final will improve support for women's cricket in the UK. I think the game's growing massively. It's growing all the time. Um, you know, the awareness of women's cricket is is growing all the time and you know you know our followers on Twitter things like that the messages we're receiving from home you know compared to the last World Cup is it's grown enormous enormously so we're really pleased about it a bit more sport for you now and in the Premier League Chelsea are four points clear at the top of the table they've beat Norwich 4-1 at Stamford Bridge Frank Lampard was one of Chelsea's goal scorers now the X Factor finalists have sung live for the first time Chris Maloney in the overs category was picked as the wild card and the 13 finalists were treated to a special appearance from the One Direction lads. Here's what advice Liam had for all of them. I think the best thing that we can say for finalists is just have a good time. You know, there's a lot of pressure and stuff with everybody watching, but you've got to go out there and enjoy yourself and just right. have a good time. We'll have more X Factor and Strictly news later on this morning. That's it from me. I'm back in about an hour's right time. See you then. Hello there. Hi, Pete. I'm Dutch. Oh, and I'm Ben. Yeah. And your CBBC Super Sunday is going to carry on with horrible histories up next.
Speaking of history, my favourite battle, best battle for me, was the Battle of Hastings, 1066. It was brilliant, you know, my horse, my horse, my kingdom oh, no, for a horse and all that. Like, if it's not boring magic stories, it's history. Oh, it's like, oh, if only dogs ruled the world, win. history would be so much more interesting. Ah, Mount Rushmore, home of the American president. <laughs> hey, if dogs were in charge, we wouldn't be the ones on leads. We would be the leaders. We would be the presidents. Hey, watch this. <gasps> oh, look at them lovely faces. You're handsome. <laughs> ah, the Sphinx. If dogs ruled the world, there'd be none of this cat nonsense, no. <laughs> Canines would be top dogs. You're lovely. Keep up the good work. Ah, Big Ben. No longer would it be Big Ben, for it would be Big Dodge. Oh, <laughs> lovely oh, face. Dodge, what are you doing? What? How did you get into my daydream? Through the doggy flap. Hold on, why is your face on Big Ben? Well, I'm imagining what things would be like if dogs ruled the world, Ben. Hey, come on, follow me, I'll show you something All good. Right. Behold the leaning tower of pizzas. Yeah, if dogs ruled the world, this pizza tower would never have fell over. Well, first of all, it's the leaning tower of pizza, not mm. pizza. Second of all, you can't stick your face on this because there's no face for it to go. What a bet! <laughs> whoa, 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 stop this now, stop this. You can't go around sticking your face on historical monuments. That's just not right. You need to brush up on your history. Wow! Glad you asked. How about you check out horrible histories? Ah. Enjoy. Uh, how do we get out of here?